Hi, everybody. Welcome to Unlocking Kingdom Destiny. Let me ask you a question. For those of you that are Christians that know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, uh, you ought to know this answer. For those of you that don't, you might not know it. Here's the question. If you were to die today with sin in your life, would you wind up in heaven or would you wind up in hell? Well, you know, as a Christian, the Bible tells us that because Jesus died for our sins, not just only yesterday, but today's and tomorrow's, that if you were to die today with sin in your life, you'd wind up in heaven. Now, a lot of people don't believe that, but that's scripture. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There isn't any one of us on the face of this earth that not only has sinned, but will always sin. What is sin? Sin is anything that doesn't trust and believe in God, anything that's not a faith, where we're putting our hope and our whole eternity trusting in God. And in those areas of our lives that we don't, it's counted sin. But as a Christian, Jesus paid the price for all of our sins. And he paid the price also by going to hell, where we don't have to go there anymore. Does that mean that we should go on and sin? Well, God forbid, the Bible says. You know, if we've been set free from sin, then we should not serve sin. But if we happen to fall and we do sin, we need to understand that God loves us and paid the price for us and that we're on our way to heaven. If you're not a Christian, then you still have a sin nature. And that's really what's being judged here. It's not a matter of just the sin, but the sin nature. And, and it's the nature of a person that's really going to be questioned. And without Jesus Christ, you still have a sin nature. And you sin, and therefore, if you were to die today without Jesus, you would wind up in a place called hell. What is hell? Hell is just a separation between you and God. It's a place where there is darkness and pain and anguish and suffering and all sorts of evil and wickedness, all the results of sin and the sin nature. Who goes to hell? Well, God doesn't send anyone to hell. That's good news. He loved us so much that our Heavenly Father sent Jesus to pay the price for us and become sin for us, who knew no sin, so that we would have His nature and be able to stand before our Heavenly Father and say, Father, please, thank you for your love and forgive us of all of our sins. And He does. So it would pay today for you who are not a Christian to open your hearts and certainly study that and make sure that you know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no other way to the Father except through Him. If you're a Christian today and you're filled with guilt and shame and you're still looking over your shoulder with all the fear that you're going to still go to hell, maybe you've been condemned by others, get rid of that. That's from the devil. That's called the sin consciousness. And start doing what's right. Let's not worry about the things that are minor. Let's be more concerned about the things that are major, and that's living for Jesus. That's the freedom that you now have with this new born-again nature. So if you would die today, you'd wind up in heaven as a Christian.